What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening and today we're back with box three part number four So if you guys have not checked out part numbers one two or three from box three links will be in the description of the video Alongside box number one and two as well. So yeah, be sure to go check those out box one Nice balance of pulls box two hype box three has been amazing so far has been absolutely Epic. We've got some solid pulls so far, so be sure to go check those ones out. But without further ado, we're cracking open the final nine packs from this boost box, which has been awesome so far. So we'll just get these suckers out, fold up the box um, to create a nice little background there. But that's sweet. Excellent. I'll just double check that this is nine. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool, cool. But without further ado, let's get cracking um, into these last nine. So, up to this point, we've got a pretty balanced pull uh, pull ratio from each part. So I'm definitely still expecting a potential of maybe like three three pulls from this part. But who knows? Who knows? If we um if we get an over ratioed box, we could get four. So that's um, pretty much one in three packs, if you guys did not know. So every third pack, potentially, potentially we could have a pull. So that is something to look forward to. And I'm, yeah, I'm so hyped. If you guys are hyped, be sure to drop a like down below. But we've got a de-evolution spray and a Lucario regular rare. That's good. I love the, the, the like pink highlight that Lucario has. as It's like kind of like powering up. It's like Super Saiyan style. It's got the whole like Super Saiyan stance. But that's... That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So no no first pack magic, no reverse rare, no no nothing in that one. We just got a no nothing pack. But both of these packs have just been saved. I don't know. Sometimes the packs when they open, they just like ask to be saved. I don't know. I don't know if you guys notice some some just open really easily and others don't. But let's go. Pack number two. Pack number two. We've got a dealing. Snivy. Jigglypuff, Fennekin, Snubble, Ultra Ball, we got a Shauna, Servine, Zygarde Reverse, that's not bad, I was definitely still looking for that one, I know that one for sure, and a Mew Hollow, that's excellent, that is excellent, if I was going to pull um, any Hollow from the set, it was Mew, I, I adore Mew, I love Mew, I think it's an awesome addition to the set and the art definitely gives me a lot of appreciation that is excellent that is excellent not a bad way to kick off um, part number four pull wise but let's continue on because we're still hunting for uh, for some goodies and I have high hopes for what they are I would love to see an Umbreon I definitely maybe even love to see a Kingdra uh, EX so that would be pretty cool but we got a Weezing, awesome art. Team Rocket's handiwork. A Chinchino, that one is a reverse rare with sweeping cure and knock away. And a Mandibuzz. So I don't see too much of Mandibuzz, but what does it say? Uh, Bone Drop. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability. Don't apply weakness and resistance. That's pretty cool. 60 damage for one energy. That's, um, I wouldn't be disappointed with that. That's pretty sweet. Just because they have an ability. It's like, yeah, yeah get wrecked because you have an ability man and buzz you devious sly bird i was gonna say sly dog but that doesn't make sense so you sly bird but this one once again like what just happened that just that pack was like wanting to be saved and then it just shredded so i'll just kind of open this one like this and i'll give away the code because it's being a pain but there we go there is the code enjoy 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 hopefully you guys can get like a mew something nice and playable uh from that code but we have a cottony riolu gothita wisma minchino a servine wormadam poopitar oh and we got an armistar break that's pretty cool i'm pretty pleased with that one armistar break and can we get the double oh i i I might even classify that seriously. That Lugia is epic. 
that Lugia is pretty epic. So that's a pretty solid pack. I'm, I'm definitely pleased with that. If I went to the shops, I spent money on a pack and I got this. Stoked. Over the moon. Over the moon. But yeah, this Lugia has 120 HP with pressure and intensifying burn. And then we got Omastar Break. It's got 140 HP with the ability Dangerous Tentacle that says once during your turn, before you attack, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon EX with his or her active Pokemon. So that's that's not bad. That could be a nice little uh, a free prize, potentially. You use that, use that ability, swap them over, attack. See you later. But that's awesome. Moving on. Lugia Break. So what's that? We got a Break, which is kind of classified as an extra. We've got a new Hollow, which would count as a pull. So we're still potentially expecting two more pulls in this part. So who knows? Who knows? We've got a Riolu, a Minchino, Wizma, a Snivy, Fennekin, a random receiver, Kangas Khan. Kabuto, Fennekin Reverse, so we've got the other art Fennekin. It says invite out, what does that say? It says flip a coin if head switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. So funny that, we we're just mentioning Omastar being able to swap uh, Pokemon on the bench and then we've got a Fennekin here, basic, with 50 HP that can do the exact same thing. So that's cool. And, dude, I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. We have an Umbreon EX. I'm over the freaking mood. That has made my day. That has made my day. We got an Umbreon EX. It's got 170 HP with a Veil of Darkness and Endgame. I'm so pleased with that. You, do, you guys don't understand. This card is literally my Darkrai from Fates Collide. And the day that I pull the full art, I may potentially tear up because that card is epic. It looks so amazing. And this regular EX looks just as incredible. It's my favorite evolution. I'm just so glad to see it. I'm so glad. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this Umbreon EX art. So let's have a nice close up of that, um, of the art. Check that out. But yeah, wow. What an awesome pull. Awesome pull. I knew this box still had something, something amazing in store for us. So if these last four packs, like, don't give us anything, I'm over the moon. Absolutely over the moon with that pull. Ah, uh, it makes me so happy when I get cards that are just, like, I don't know if you guys understand, like, you, when you pull a card that you just really want, it just feels so, like, it feels so nice. Such a good vibe. There we go. So let's keep cracking. We gotta, we still gotta get through four more packs and I don't want to uh, drag this out any longer than what it needs to be. So we got a Scorched Earth, a Wormadam, an Energy Pouch, a Reverse Jigglypuff, and a Barbarical. So we got the Parasite. I like to call this one from the uh, Parasite anime. Because if, if you guys read that little description, feel free to pause and have a read of that. Um, you will know exactly why I, if you've seen Parasite, exactly why I call it the Parasite Pokemon. But moving on, perfect Zygarde. Whoop. Throw the pack onto the sword. And you guys are due for a code, so let's give that one away. No special special words in that one. But let's flip this over. And see what the third last pack from box three has in store for us. So we get a Burmy. A seal. Fennekin. Gothita. Binaco. A Wormadam. The Evolution Spray. An Omanite. A Snorlax, that one is a reverse rare. Excellent, excellent. And an Omastar, okay. Okay, that goes with our Omastar break, that's not bad. So it has Restoring Beam uh, being the ability. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may search your deck for a restored Pokemon and put it onto your bench. Shuffle your deck afterward, okay. Cool. Next up, we've got the Mega Alakazam pack art. Like, don't mess with my beard. That's that's what that look is saying. It's literally saying, you touch my beard, you're dead. <laughs> like, Alakazam is really intimidating. Like, seriously. I don't know. If I saw an Alakazam in person, I'd probably, like, run. I would run for my life. Because that's some scary, scary stuff. 
Let's go. So second last pack, box number three. We've got a Vullaby. Spitting bars. Spitting bars. Spitting rhymes. We've got a Snivy. Diglett. Energy reset. Pupita. Womadam. That's pretty epic. That is epic, you guys. We have the Chaos Tower Reverse. So it actually looks like a holographic card, like a holographic rare. Uh, that's what I really love about these um, like Ancient Trade or Double Effect trainer cards. They look epic. Absolutely epic. So that's definitely gone up the back. And we got a Lucario Hollow. So yeah, two awesome pulls in one pack. I'm very pleased with that, you guys. Very, very pleased. So let's, let's throw both of those suckers up the back. Up the back here, somewhere like that. Let's keep Umbreon on the front. Because Umbreon is bay. Moving on, we've got the final pack of box number three being the Delphox Break pack art. And let's see what we can get from this final pack. Awesome. So we've got a Jigglypuff, Riolu, a Seal, Lavatar, Vullaby, Chinchino, Kangaskhan, Duosion. We've got a Reverse Riolu. It's got 60 HP with Smash Punch. And the rare in the pack is an x Bloud, a regular rare. So there was no last, ma uh, last pack magic there, but that is all good because we've got some goodies. Like this box, poor wise, has been very, very balanced um, overall. Links, once again, they will be in the description to all the parts from box number three. But let's have a recap. Going from the reverses through to the hollows, through the break, through to the ultras. The ultra rare. Oh, actually, I forgot about that. I forgot about you. So we've got a Chaos Tower. That one's just an uncommon reverse, but it's it's epic. Looks epic. Definitely uh, deserved a uh, spot up the back there. But we've got a Snorlax Reverse Rare, a Hollow Mew, Hollow Lucario, a Omastar Break. Excellent. And then we got the highlight pull of part number four. We've got the fan fave or the Brody fave, the Amity fave, Umbreon EX. So yeah, if you guys wanted to see the pulls from the rest of the box, be sure to go check out the other parts. I won't be showing them in this final part in like a full total recap like I, I used to do. I like to cut, yeah, I wanted to try and keep these parts separate so you guys have a, an actual reason to go check out all the other parts. Uh, but yeah, with that all said, be, good, be sure to go check out parts number one, two, and three. Uh, and let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that Umbreon EX art. I'll give you guys a close up once again here. Check that out. I think it looks absolutely amazing. It is definitely my favorite card from the set, Umbreon EX and the EX Full Art. Let me know in the comment section below as well. What is your favorite um, EX or EX Full Art from the Fates Collide expansion? But yeah, if you guys enjoyed my Box 3 Fates Collide opening, be sure to drop a like down below and I look forward to seeing you guys in box number four or another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.